WordPress is without doubt the best blogging platform for SEO, but there are still things you can do within WordPress to help your blog posts rank higher in Google. Hello everyone, I'm Rob Powell, and today I'm going to show you 13 tips for making your WordPress site even more SEO friendly. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. That way, when I go live with another video, you'll get notified. I've divided the tips into two categories. Category A is SEO tips for individual blog posts, and category B is SEO tips for your website as a whole. Let's dive in. Category A, SEO tips for individual blog posts. Tip number one, choose a focus keyword for each article. Every article you write should have a focus keyword. This is the keyword that you want your article to rank for on Google. Of course, that same article will probably rank for other keywords as well. If you use an SEO plugin, such as Yoast SEO, the plugin will ask you to specify the focus keyword or focus key phrase for your article. Your focus keyword should be a long tail keyword. These are the words you can rank for most easily. Tip number two, optimize your meta tags. The meta tags for your web page are the title tag and the meta description. They're both vital for SEO because they tell search engines what your article is about, and for humans, they serve as ads for your web page. A compelling and eye catching title tag, also called the SEO title, can dramatically improve your click through rate from the search results, and with a higher click through rate, the search engines will start moving your page higher in the search results. Meta descriptions don't directly affect SEO. However, your meta description appears in the SERP snippet for your article and it has a big impact on click through rate. A compelling meta description that includes your keyword and a benefit is likely to get more clicks. Tip number three optimize for word count. The ideal length for your article will depend on the topic of your article. Have a look at the word count of the top five ranking articles for the keyword that you're targeting. That will give you a good idea of what word count Google expects to see for that keyword. Tip number four, use header tags correctly. Header tags rank headings by order of importance from H1 through to H6. H1 is reserved for the title of your web page, so there should only ever be one H1 tag on your page. The top level headings in your article should be H2, the next level should be H3, and so on. Always use heading tags in a logical hierarchy. Make sure to place your main keyword and related keywords in your headers, as the words in your headers are given particular SEO importance by search engine algorithms. Tip number five, use a table of contents. A table of contents will help your readers navigate around your article. This is especially important for long form articles, but less so for shorter articles. Anything that makes your article more accessible or easier to use will tend to keep people on the page for longer, and that's going to improve your SEO. Tip number six, use schema markup. Schema markup, also called structured data, is a syntax or language that tells search engines what categories of information your content contains and how you want it displayed. With schema markup installed on your website, you'll get rich results in your SERP snippets. These are extra features that Google adds to your SERP snippet. They're good for SEO because they make your SERP snippet stand out from the others, which results in you getting more clicks. There are various plugins that will add schema markup to your site. The one I use and recommend is Schema Pro. Tip number seven, add last updated info. Displaying a last updated date at the top of your articles can be good for SEO because searchers give preference to information that is up to date. While most WordPress themes automatically display the date an article was published, very few show the date an article was last updated. In most cases, this is something you will have to add using either code snippets or a plugin. One such plugin is WP Last Modified Info by Cyan Data. Category B, SEO tips for your website as a whole. Tip number eight, 
Site Architecture Ideally, your site architecture should resemble a pyramid, with your home page at the apex, followed by category pages on Tier 2, and your individual blog posts on Tier 3. One way to build a site structure that's good for SEO is to create topic clusters. These are clusters of web pages that all link back to a central pillar page or hub post. The hub post deals with the topic at a general level, while the pages it links to deal with specific subtopics. These topic clusters or content hubs keep visitors on your site for longer by showing them related content, and they also build your website's authority on a particular topic, and that helps with SEO. Tip number nine, use breadcrumb navigation. Breadcrumbs, or breadcrumb navigation, are a type of navigation that shows a visitor where they are in a website. Humans like them because it helps them move around the website. With breadcrumbs, your visitors tend to stay on your site longer, and that reduces bounce rate, which improves your SEO. And search engines like breadcrumbs as well, because they help search engine bots to crawl your site, and they help algorithms understand how your content is organized. Tip number 10, add your site to Google Search Console. Google Search Console is a free tool that allows you to monitor and improve your visibility in Google Search. Here are just some of the things you can do in Google Search Console. Request indexing for new blog posts, submit an XML sitemap so that Google indexes your website properly, see the top search queries that your site is being found for in Google Search, see your top performing pages in Google Search, see your pages that have attracted the most backlinks, check your Core Web Vitals performance, and check your page experience performance. Tip number 11, connect your site to Google Analytics. One of the great advantages of SEO as a source of traffic is that literally everything can be measured, and it's all done for you for free in the most advanced analytics platform known to mankind, namely Google Analytics. What can be measured can be improved, and that's why it's vital to connect your site to Google Analytics. Here are some key metrics that you might want to track in Google Analytics. One, unique visitors. Two, pages per visit. Three, new versus returning visitors. Four, bounce rate. Five, visitors coming from search engines. Six, most popular posts or pages. And seven, mobile versus desktop. Tip number 12, install a cache plugin. A caching plugin creates a static version of your web page, which it serves to visitors instead of processing all the PHP scripts in real time. This makes your web pages load much faster in a visitor's browser. Here are some popular cache plugins for WordPress. WP Rocket, W3 Total Cache, and WP Super Cache. Tip number 13, add legal pages. You might think a privacy policy doesn't have much to do with SEO, but it's one of the things that helps Google decide whether or not to trust a website. The Google Trust Rank algorithm looks at a range of signals to determine whether a site is trustworthy or not, and there are four pages that immediately build trust with Google. One, a contact page. Two, an about us page. Three, a terms of use page. And four, a privacy policy page. So make sure you have these four pages on your website and preferably link to them in your footer. I hope this was helpful. If so, please make sure to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.